two former employees of the State Employment Development Department are facing federal charges for allegedly filing hundreds of thousands of dollars in fraudulent unemployment claims. As News 8's David Gonferson reports, one of the women facing charges lives here in San Diego. Hi, my name's uh, David Gottfredson. I work at uh, Channel 8 News here in San Diego. This is the condo where Naika Gomez lives in Black Mountain Ranch, according to public records. The neighbors also confirm she lives here. I'm trying to get a hold of Naika, is that you? But when News 8 knocked on her door, she said it wasn't her. No, you had the wrong door. Uh, well, this is about the EDD fraud. The 40-year-old is accused of filing multiple fraudulent unemployment claims under the names of California prison inmates. Prosecutors say this is her, showing up at ATM machines to withdraw the EDD unemployment cash. She's currently out on bail pending a criminal trial. According to the complaint filed in San Diego federal court, Gomez was in cahoots with her boyfriend who is currently serving 94 years to life in prison for murder. Gomez is also a former employee of EDD, where, according to San Diego prosecutors, she used her training and expertise to defraud that very program in a scheme designed to generate hundreds of thousands of dollars in stolen benefits. This is taxpayer money that uh, has been provided to help our fellow citizens in a time of real need. Up in Sacramento, outgoing U.S. Attorney McGregor Scott filed similar EDD fraud charges against Andrea Gervais, also known as Andrea Dangerfield, who prosecutors say is a former employee of EDD as well. The 44-year-old is accused of using her home address to apply for at least 100 unemployment claims, totaling more than $200,000. One of the identities she's accused of stealing is U.S. Senator Dianne Feinstein. And Scott says this is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to EDD fraud in California. I am confident that this will turn out to be the largest fraud scheme ever perpetrated upon the taxpayers in the state of California. So how is it that so many fraudulent EDD claims could be paid out to so many unverified individuals? Well, the newly hired director of EDD says the pandemic is partially to blame. Should people be pissed off because they did everything right and then what happened was EDD screwed up and, you know, of course they should be. Uh, you can't blame them for that. At an audit hearing earlier this month, Director Rita Sains told lawmakers the agency let its guardrails down in order to make payments quickly to millions of unemployed workers laid off during the COVID pandemic. This is 22 pieces of mail that I have received. Letting the guardrails down led to massive fraud currently estimated between 11 and $30 billion. In response, the agency launched ID.me to verify identities and also instituted cross-checking policies to make sure prison inmates can no longer collect unemployment benefits. I've seen uh, problems like this in other departments, and I am confident that they can be fixed. Prosecutors say we can expect to see more criminal cases filed as EDD fraud investigations are ongoing. We've got essentially a very well-oiled machine which is investigating and prosecuting these EDD fraud cases, and that machine will continue to march forward. David Godfordson, News 8.